Welcome everybody. Thank y'all for joining. We're excited to see you guys. We're excited to see some return faces that we saw at the pre-party. I don't know, a raise of hands. Can we do emojis on here? Reactions? We can. Did you go to the pre-party? Mm -hmm. It was fun. We were at our Lamar store. We are going to have a wrap party after this event at our Westgate location. Karina, we see you. <laughs> That's going to be on November 3rd, which is also a Thursday again at the South location, but we'll be sure to send out all kinds of information to everybody. So they're in the know. So again, yeah, welcome. We are with Whole Earth. I'm Shannon. This is Rainy. Hello. And Heather is across the dining room table from <laughs> us. We are all together coming to you live from Dallas, <laughs> visiting our Dallas location. If you guys haven't been, we do have stores in Dallas, Houston, San Antonio, and Austin. If you're near San Antonio, go see the mothership. It's insane. <laughs> it's a 28,000 square foot uh, store. <laughs> oh, just keep your thumbs up it's it'll fine. go away yeah it's it'll fine. go away don't worry about it um y'all get in the chat if you want to communicate with us we'll see that uh but yeah we're excited on the whole earth team to partner with oboes uh for year two of the oboes trail experience in austin i keep touting that austin was the biggest turnout last year for train scouts uh bart is here with us he'll talk a little bit about that but um i'm just going to keep talking about that until it's not true anymore but we are here uh, to talk to you guys and open up the floor for questions about the experience itself. I, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of questions about the functionality and and uh, teams. That is a new thing. So I won't take too long here at the top, but I just want to introduce everyone we have here on the call. So the whole Earth team from Oboes here today, we have Paul Loesch. Paul, you want to wave? Identify yourself. Hello. <laughs> there he is. Hello. <laughs> Paul is with us from Oboes. We might have someone else in a bit here. We have from Hill Country Conservancy, who is our beneficiary for this trail experience. Uh, we have Carolyn. Carolyn, hello. Hi everyone. And then from Terrain Scouts, who makes this all possible via Oboes, we have Bart, who will be doing some uh, demo here for us in a little bit and really answering the questions. Kevin, we have Kevin from Whole Earth too. Kevin, I'm not going to let you go unnoticed now. You have to, <laughs> you have to show yourself too. Kevin is also part of our Whole Earth team. We're happy to have him here. Okay, so we did introductions. Thank you again, Oboes, for making this all possible. This is so much fun. We're so excited to make this happen for the second year. Um, oh, reminder that we're recording that it was part of um, the event, right? We wanna make sure this is available to folks who couldn't join us tonight. So we'll post this later so they can see it. So if you don't want your face on camera, then please turn your camera off. Um, so Oboe's Trail Experience. Some people are wondering what it is. This event is a series designed to help participants rediscover their favorite trails, learn about new or lesser known trails, push their limits and recreate locally which we are all about. Everyone will have the chance to compete against local legends, peers, or just themselves, depending on how they want to compete. Um, the trail experience in Austin will last the entire month of October. Anyone can register anytime starting now. It's been open se since September 1st um, to complete as many trail segments as they can within that month. The experience is for anyone that loves to walk, hike, or run on the trails. So on foot on the trails. Um, yeah, so we're, that's in a nutshell, that's essentially what the, what the, what the challenge is. And with that, I am, uh, going to pass it over to Paul to talk a little bit about Oboes. Hey, thank you, Shannon. Thank you everybody for being here. It's so good to see all you guys. Uh, thanks to Whole Earth for partnering with us on this. Thanks to the Hill Country Conservancy and Terrain Scouts for helping us put this on as well. It's such a cool project. So cool to see so many people getting involved and getting out on the trails. Uh, just a little couple quick, hit, quick hits on who Oboes is. Uh, it's a bit of a funny name. The name comes from outside Bozeman. We are based in Bozeman, Montana. We've been making footwear since 2007. Um, we make hiking footwear, we make casual stuff, we have, you know, a, a full line of things. 
Uh, Whole Earth carries a bunch of great Oboes product if you want to go down and try a pair. Uh, we are a brand committed to sustainability. We plant a tree for every pair of Oboes sold. We're just over 4 million trees planted as part of that project at this point. We're super proud of that. Uh, we offset all of the carbon that is used in our shoe shipments and employee travel. We do that through the Bonneville Environmental Foundation. Uh, we host rad projects like the one that you guys are sitting in today. Um, we say that we are true to the trail. Uh, you can check us out on obosfootwear.com. Um, we are committed to fit. That's kind of one of the selling points for all Oboes footwear. The fit is typically excellent for most people. Uh, we focus on that a lot. There's 140 people uh, estimated to touch every single pair of Oboes that we manufacture. They put a lot of care and love into what they do. Uh, and we put a lot of care and love into taking care of those people in return. Um, yeah, if you guys have any Oboes questions, pop them in the comments there, raise a hand, say something. Looking forward to seeing everyone out on the trails. And uh, I think I'm passing it to Carolyn or Bart. Yep, I think you're take, I'll jump in here. Hi everybody, I'm Carolyn. I'm with Hill Country Conservancy. Um, it's so great to see everybody here today and um, want to give thanks to everybody who made this possible. Um, a little background information on um, Hill Country Conservancy. We are a nonprofit land trust who works with private landowners um, to put investments on their land, which will um, save it from being developed in the future. Um, our work is really important because it's 95% of Texas land is privately owned. And so we are working to save all of our natural spaces and provide um, a place for people to go outside and explore and get some R&R. &R. Um, we also are building the Violet Crown Trail, which is this challenge. Um, I hope my face isn't frozen. It's frozen on my computer, so <laughs> I hope that's not, not the case. But um, anyways, yeah, I think um, we're really excited to, to be doing this around year two. And uh, if you have any questions about the work that we do or uh, the Violet Crown Trail, uh, let drop a chat or um, there may be a Q&A at the end. Um, and if you want to uh, uh, make a donation to Hill Country Conservancy, you can do that at any time. Um, and now I think I will pass it on to Bart. Awesome. Thanks, Carolyn. Appreciate it. Um, it's really lovely to be here with everybody tonight. Um, it's fun to be doing this for the second year in Austin. And, uh, you know, have to say a huge thank you to Oboe's Footwear, to Whole Earth, to Hill Country Conservancy, because without all of those um, companies and organizations, we wouldn't be able to do this and especially offer it up for everybody to participate for free, which I think is pretty awesome. So um, I am the co-founder of Terrain Scouts. We built the platform that uh, we host all of the Oboe's trail experiences on. This is one of a whole series of experiences that are hosted all around the country. Uh, and as Shannon mentioned uh, last year, you were the most participants came out of Austin. It was pretty awesome. There were 400 last year, but already this year we're at like 320 and registration will continue throughout the month of October. People will be coming in as we're actually going through the experience itself. So I'm sure we're going to probably well exceed that 400 number, which is pretty awesome. Um, so tonight, I'm going to give everybody, um, I'm going to do a screen share, and I'm going to just kind of quickly go through the site and all of the features. You'll probably get a lot of questions answered as we just go through it. But then I want to make sure that we're leaving enough time at the end so people can ask specific questions, whether it relates to um, the platform or, you know, you're recording an activity or uh, trail questions, anything like that. Um, you know, feel free to save some to the end if you need. So with that, I'm going to jump into a screen share. And 
I'm going to make sure everybody is seeing the right screen. Okay. I see the dashboard. Real quick, Bart, before you get started, we've got a question in chat asking if Terrain Scouts has any plans on becoming an app. Oh, oh that's that's a timely question. <laughs> um, yes, it is. So Terrain Scouts right now is only two years old. Um, and uh, we've been really busy on you know refining upgrades to the platform as it is that is our next big hurdle um i can't guarantee it for 2023 but certainly by 2024 we will be there and um and it will definitely help kind of streamline some of the recording um of of trails and activities so we we recognize that it's a big project for a very small team but yeah we're going down that road okay on that note so, yeah you're the first to know by the way Whoever asks that has some intuition. Uh, <laughs> we're on um, we're on the overview page, and so when you look up at the header, you'll see overview dashboard FAQs. And once I log in and register, you're also going to see Teams. Um, so right now, it's telling me I need to log in to register, and we're going to quickly do that. But first, I'm going to just show you really quickly. The overview page is just that. It'll give you the overview of the Oboe's Trail experience, some of the key dates. Um, if you need reminded on how we're going to go through the registration process, it's pretty simple. You know, it's creating an account with Terrain Scouts. You register for the Oboe's Trail experience, and, and we'll take a look at, you know, add, validating a phone number and creating a team if we want. Um, and then this is number step three is a really important one. You've got to make sure and connect whatever activity tracking device you are using, connect it to your profile because we can't see your activities unless you do that. So um, it, there's a few steps involved in getting registered, but once you're set up, then it's really seamless. And when you go out and you walk on a trail or hike a trail and, and record it, it gets sent to us automatically, which is really simple. A um, little bit down here, we talk about Teams. Uh, there's a new uh, Austin Facebook group for the Oboe's Trail experience. So if, <laughs> if everybody wants to jump into that, it'll be a great way for everyone to be connected, chat amongst each other, ask questions, um, maybe meet up for hikes, things like that. So. We're pretty excited about that. Um, I will remind that Oboes and uh, Whole Earth are um, teaming up to make a donation to Hill Country Conservancy uh, as a part of the Oboes Trail experience. So what we're gonna do here now is I'm just going to go ahead and log in and register. And for me, I've already created an account with Terrain Scouts. So I'm just actually gonna log into my account but if you don't have an account yet, you will need to create one. So now it's telling me, okay, you can go ahead and register. I'm gonna choose my category. Um, I want to receive text messages as I go through the Oboe's trail experience. So I entered my phone number, I've already verified it. Um, and that's how we can send you messages when you complete and upload a trail properly or you've completed a promoted trail, um, it'll let you know that you've done that. Um, of course, there's always going to be lots of opportunities if you wanna make a donation to Hill Country Conservancy and you're able to, that's incredible. Um, as part of this too, you can choose to be solo or you can choose to be on a team. You can join a public team and if I choose that, it's just going to give me a drop down box with all of the teams that have been created that are public. Um, I could choose to join a private team. And for that, I'm going to need an access code because the, when the captain creates a private team, the captain's provided with an access code that you will need to join that team. Or I could create my own team. And when you do that, you're putting in the name and the description and whether you want it to be public or private. And for me, I'm just gonna go solo. So I'm gonna click next. I'm gonna confirm. 
and we're going to watch the spinning wheel for a sec. There we go. So now let's pop this over to the dashboard. And you'll also see that team is now up in the header. Um, as we scroll down the dashboard, event details, we're going to kind of always be updating these event details as we go through the month of October. So always just kind of check in up at the top here and see if there's any messages that pertain to you. Again, we'll call out the Facebook group here. Um, we're, our dates are gonna be basically the month of October. We've got 29 trails that are totaling 106 miles with over 16,000 total vertical feet. So it's a, it's a, it's a big effort. Um, uh, once again, here's an easy uh, little prompt. If you wanna join the uh, Facebook group, you can click on it right there and, and join. But this is when we get down into the fun stuff. Um, so the map on the left shows all of the trails that we've chosen. On the right, there's the list of all of the trail names. And you're able to view these trail names um, in order that they are right now. Or you could click on any of these headers if you want to sort them by distance, if you want to sort it by total ascent. Um, Direction, I believe all of our trails are bi-directional, yeah. So, oops, sorry. So that means you could complete any of these trails uh, going either way. Um, so just know that you have the ability to sort trails if you would like. Now, there's a little few little icons here that I wanna call out. Um, the first one is the little blue eye dot. And if you click on that, it's going to zoom in on that trail and it's going to give you the information on that particular trail. And there's almost always, it's going to link out to another site where you would be able to get even more information on the trail. It's not always all trails, but um, it, that's a pretty handy site that we use quite a bit. So. All of these trails, just go ahead and click on the little blue eye and you're going to be able to, there we go, let's get that up into place. You'll be able to view information on that trail. Um, this little icon is a fun one because that indicates that that is a promoted trail. And if you just hover over it, it will tell you, in this case, completing this trail will trigger a reward from Juice Land. Um, there are there's all kinds of great promoted trails in here. This one's a really special one. If you complete that trail, it's going to um, provide for the donation to Hill Country Conservancy upon your completion of that trail. So I hope everybody gets out and does Dante's. Um, and then we've got a little icon over here on the right. It's called Upload Trail to Tracker. And if we click on that, so on to my profile, I've connected my Garmin and I've connected my sports tracker. And um, I haven't connected any of the Map My Fitness platforms. Um, so I want to send that trail to my Garmin. If I click that, it will send that route to my Garmin so I can bring it up on my Garmin and I can easily follow the trail when I'm out there. This is kind of one of those handy tools that if you don't know the trail, or maybe if it's a really, some of the trails that we've got are, they're, there's, they're pretty windy and there's a lot of intersections. And so it could be kind of a handy little tool. Um, unfortunately, it does only work with Garmin, Sunto, Sports Tracker, or Map My Fitness. Uh, not all of the uh, tracking devices allow for us to send information to them. So. Uh, but even then, you could also just download the GPX file if you know what to do with the GPX file, and you could uh, send that to your tracking device as well. Hey, Barbara, so, quick, can you demo the like how the trail relates to the map, like just being able to like click on the trail and have it highlight and like show you some of that information again? Sure. So the little blue dot. If you click on that, it will zoom into the trail and sometimes it's just slightly off of the trail. Oops. And so there's Bull Creek Trail. 
here's the information. If I don't want to see that box, I just click on the map and the box will disappear on me. The other way to kind of know, like we're seeing two trails here and which one is Bull Creek. If I just hover over the name Bull Creek, that trail turned yellow. So you can always kind of identify which trail is it that way. Or you can also just come over and click on the trail itself and that will pop open a box. So we know that this one is St. Edwards, this one is Bull Creek. Um, Thank you. You'll notice that there's a little yellow line on the outside of this map. If I double click, that goes away. So when you first go to the dashboard, you'll get a message here that tells you you need to double click if you want to interact with the map. And so you wanna double click, it'll turn yellow, and now we can scroll around we can zoom in and out, but if I double click again and it goes black, it freezes the map and I can't do anything with it. Um, that makes it easier if you're scrolling up and down the page. Okay. Excellent, thank you. You're welcome. Um, okay, we're gonna get down to current standings. We do have some new things going on here this year. Um, last year, you probably, if you participated last year, you saw that as you complete trails you have a little graphical bar that goes across and shows you your progress compared to other people but what we've also added is you can click on all and it's going to be the entire list of everybody who is registered Oops, i keep doing that i keep jumping up and down how much they've completed percentage wise miles wise and then also they'll give you a little overview of badges and so this is a good chance to chat about badges um, at certain milestones along the way it's at five percent and 25 and 50 and 75 and 100 percent you will receive a badge um, and that badge will be shown not only here um, but it also kind of shows up in your own personal uh, little dashboard page. And, and what I mean by that is if I were to click on my own name, it's going to open a page that is specific to me. And right now, all of the trails are showing these little blue dots. But as I complete trails, those little blue dots are going to change colors to, to show that I've already completed that trail. Um, and then down here at the bottom of my page, it'll also have a listing of all the badges that I've earned um, on my particular page. So if you want to see your page, just go to your name on the list, click on it, and it'll jump over. And it's kind of an easy way for you to be able to look and see what trails have you already done, which ones have you do you still need to go do. You're also able to look, um, if you want to look by gender, you can you can do it that way as well. So there's now several ways that you can kind of look at the current standings individually. But we've also, of course, we've talked about teams. We've added teams this year. At last I looked, we were up to 30 some teams, which is pretty awesome. And so as we get going and teams start putting in the miles, we're gonna, they will start being ranked in order of uh, the most miles that have been accomplished by that team. Um, right now, these are all ranked one because they're all in first place right now. But when we get down to these teams, if you know anybody on these teams, they don't have enough people in them yet. So um, those teams need to go out and do some serious recruiting to, to become a valid team. Um, it, again, if like we want to look at whole earthlings and we want to see who all's on that team and how they're doing, we can click on that team name. It'll take us to their page and um, we're able to kind of see what their progress looks like. I'm going to jump back. Um, which also then is a good opportunity. Any if you're not on a team, you're already registered, maybe you want to join a team, all you got to do is come up into the header and click team, and you'll have those same options that we saw during registration. Um, so if you feel like you want to be a part of a team and um, you know have others to share in the experience with, it's super easy to be able to do so. 
All right, we got a couple team questions real quick. Yeah. So is there a minimum amount for a team? Two. We've got book here, two. So as long as you have two people, you're a team. Yeah, we're, we're because it's the first year for teams, we're making it really simple. You got to have at least two people. And here's how we're scoring, because I'm sure people are wondering, well, if I'm a team of two and I'm a team of 20, how do they compare? What we do is we take the total mileage for the team. We divide it by the number of team members. And that makes it so you could be a team of two and you could be a team of 20 and you're still apples to apples when it comes to your ranking. Um, and what brings you down is if you have a team that you've got some people that aren't holding up their end of the deal. It's a good motivator. So that actually is a great follow-up question. Can you join a team and then change your mind and go back to doing things solo? <laughs> yes, you can. Um, but once you've joined a team and then you go back to individual, you can't join another team. We didn't want people jumping from team to team to team to team. So, um, yeah, if you get onto a team and you're not enjoying it, you can go back to being an individual. Um, if you're on a team, you still get all of the promoted trail rewards. You still get individual badges. You still are ranked individually as well. It just is that you're also on a team and you've got some others that you're sharing the experience with. And to leave the team, you just kind of go up to the top, right? There's a couple buttons there that I think one of those says leave team. Yeah, if I were to join a team, um, I'm just going to join a public team. I'm going to join um, Tiny Giant Hikers. They, they have no idea I'm joining their team. So now if I need to leave their team, I can just go ahead and do that. So it's pretty simple. and. You know, the first person to create a team by default becomes the team captain. But um, but you can also promote somebody to be a team captain. So if that captain no longer wants to be the captain, they want to go back to being an individual, they can promote somebody else first um, to be that team captain. Are there any other team questions? I like this. Okay, I'll take that as a no. All right, we're gonna keep scrolling down, so. Sorry, we had one just come in. We've created a team, but can't get the link to copy to share. Okay, um, when the captain goes to team, the link will be shown there. Um, so, it's a little bit, that one's a little bit hard to show on a screen share here, but the link will be shown there. And I'll tell you what, if you have a really hard time finding it, just shoot me an email and I'll send you your access code. There is actually one other thing I want to show you on Teams. We'll jump back into Whole Earthlings. And, um, not everybody has all of this functionality. I'm sorry, I do because of uh, admin, but um, yours may not look quite like this, but we do make it really simple here on the team page to invite others to join the team, whether you wanna do it on Twitter, Facebook, or you just wanna copy a link and send it off to them. And you can also see right here, it's got a little team access code. So, um, makes it really simple to be able to invite others to join your team. I will also call out when we're talking about inviting others. We've got a little icon down here in the bottom right. It's on every page. If you click on it, it gives you similar options for being able to invite other people to come join the Oboe's Trail experience. That's not a team-based option. This is just invite anybody to come be a part of it. So it sounds like we might still have someone having some issues with the copy feature. So would they just need to reach out to you, to y'all directly? Sure. Okay. Yeah. Info at terrainscouts.com. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah. And I'm usually pretty punctual at being able to get back to everybody as quickly as possible. Shannon, did you have a question? 
No, okay. Sorry, All we've right. got one more. Bart, there was a question that wasn't Teams related, but I don't want to forget about it in chat. Yeah. Is it this one? Yes. Mm -hmm. Go for it. Oh, is, is there a way to upload all the trails at once to your tracker? No, individually. Individually, and you may not need them all. Some of them may be um, really simple for you to follow. Some of them uh, may not be, but it is just a one-by-one -one process. And every tracker kind of uh, functions a little bit differently on how you see that. I'll show you a little trick when we get to the FAQs so you know how to to retrieve that information on your Garmin or on your Cinto, whatever. Um, as we get into it, we're going to start seeing updates here with uh, recent activity from folks. You can just kind of see who's been doing what lately. There is a discussion board and, and really, you know, this discussion board can be, um, it, it's always been our primary tool, but also now that we have our Facebook group, um, I have a feeling a lot of people are going to be using that. So we've got a couple ways that you can kind of chat with the entire community if you want. Um, and then just at the very bottom, I will remind everybody, uh, we pull in images from, uh, from Instagram using the hashtag Oboes Trail X. Absolutely love to see everybody's pictures. Um, Every now and then, Oboes, I know, sends out a little box of thank yous to some of the people that are posting really awesome um, imagery. So please uh, feel free. It's, it's all fun to see. And these, you know, these are images that you're seeing right now that are in Burlington, which they, Burlington, Vermont, is in their very last two days of their Oboes trail experience. Um, so that's why you're kind of seeing some imagery that maybe doesn't look very much like where you live. Um, okay, we're going to jump up to FAQs. All right, I got two questions real quick before we hop in on FAQs. Talk to me. What time can we start on Saturday? Registration page says 5 a.m. Dashboard says midnight. Or uh, registration page says 5 a.m. I'm going to have to look at that. It's always 12.01 a.m. <laughs> All right, early hikers. Midnight <laughs> hikes, October 1. <laughs> yeah. That, that yeah, 5 a.m. Yeah. might be a UTC um, uh, time. That's why. It's always midnight. Yeah, get going right at midnight, and there will be people out there at midnight. Excellent. Uh, there was a question about will there be prizes for teams, and honestly, we haven't nailed down all the prizes for the wrap party, so thank you for the idea. Yeah, I think that's fun. <laughs> I was hey, oh. hey folks kevin kevin from whole earth here hey, uh, kevin. hey uh you know uh just to be a little bit of a bl wet blanket i should point out that we um strongly advise everyone to follow access rules uh whatever they may be but including curfew rules um i know it might be fun to hike overnight but you know and we can't stop you but you're you're on your own we're not encouraging you to, to break any rules or laws please thank you Thank you, Kevin. Great call out. Yeah. All right. I'll uh, quickly scan over FAQs. And, you know, this is something I encourage everybody go spend a little bit of time on this page. Um, it will probably answer really great questions for you. And you'll, you know, you'll have a better experience as a result of it. So there's a lot of these kind of general questions. Whoops, what are promoted trails? How do I navigate the dashboard map, et cetera? But we also get down into specific FAQs based upon the type of tracking device you're using. Um, you know, and so Garmin, here's how you can link your Garmin to your profile. Here's how you can upload a trail to your Garmin. And again, as I mentioned, every um, you know, tracking device just functions a little bit different. So if you're having a hard time, you know, you click on upload trail to tracker and you don't know where to find it, just jump over to FAQs and, and we've got it all spelled out for you here for all of the different platforms that are on there. So that really is the 
that's the big tour. Uh, and I'm sure there will be additional questions that come as a part of that. We have a couple in chat now. Um, what if we're stuck and not getting a verification code on our phone? So send me an email on that. Um, it, there's there's a, definitely a little bit of an oddity going on with Twilio, which is the platform that we use to verify phone numbers. Um, the one thing that I will say is, I think the little oddity is based on um, what a person's security settings are on their phone or on their computer. And so in every case that we've seen this, if the person goes and tries to verify a phone number on a different device, it's worked every single time. Um, that is, I mean, from the back end, from what we can tell, it seems to be working seamlessly. And so that our indication is that it's probably a security setting, maybe blocking some sort of pop-ups, things like that. Hey, real quickly, I had the same problem when I was registering and partly it was, I was impatient and I entered my phone number like on the web browser like four times and hit click 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 and i over, i think i overloaded i'm not saying that's what's happening to you but it could be and so the, basically the solution was i had to start the process over enter my phone number again slowly wait for it to format so that there were parentheses around the area code and once it looked like that then i could click you know please send the code then i could enter the thing i was i was going too fast because i'm an idiot that's a really great um, tip, Kevin. I haven't heard any men anyone mention having to kind of wait slowly for the formatting. So good call out. The that. the the phone number box was going crazy because it had backloaded all the times I tried to upload my phone number, and so it entered it like twelve times in the span of thirty seconds. All you know, and I couldn't stop it. But anyway, so your your impatience cost you time. <laughs> Oh, man. Um, we've got another great question. After October, will we have access to the dashboard if we'd like to continue the challenge on our own? You will be able to see the dashboard, but you won't be able to interact with it like you will during the Ovo's Trail experience. But you'll still be able to see all of the trails. You'll be able to still click on the little blue eye icon box and, and get the descriptions and things like that. And does that include sending trails to your app? No, that feature goes away at the end of October. That's a good question. You, you could send them all before the challenges or the- Absolutely, absolutely, you bet, you bet. And if somebody really individual. knows some information on the trail, just shoot me an email. I'm always happy to help. We're going to Whole Earth. They'll take great care of you. We have a. Should we get to the Q and A? We have. Yeah. Are we ready for Q and A time? We've got question. some questions piling up. So. Please. We can go through what's in the chat with you right now, and then we can open it up if folks want to take their or turn their microphones on and cameras on. We can also stop the recording for the, but we kind of need the cues yeah. for the A. <laughs> we'll keep it. Just keep your camera off if you don't want your face speaker. But otherwise, either put it in the chat or turn on your mic when that uh, when that time comes. All right. So I think question number one is, is there going to be like, I think age tiers? The, the question is, is age taken into consideration? It is not. We don't ask for your age uh, during registration. Um, you know, this is, I think, for um, some people, th this is very much a competition. But for, I think, the majority of the people, it's just really a fun challenge. And so uh, we don't ask age for that reason. Excellent. Thank you. Um, it looks like we may have had help from a Google Chrome to Safari switch for that phone number problem. So you might check what browser you're in if you're having troubles. That might help you out too. Um, and then, ooh, we've got a question about curfew times to the info for each hike. 
So is it too late to add curfews yeah. to the hikes? No, it's not too late because we're also talking about potentially adding one more trail to this all shebang. Curveball. Um, actually, I, almost every place Donna. where there, yes, every, <laughs> every place that I know of uh, in the trail descriptions where most of the trails are like sunrise to sunset. And I believe that is included in the trail descriptions. Um, but I can't think of any, any of them that have anything other than that. And I'm not sure that that's the case for all of them. But anyway. So. Thank you, Donna. Thank you, Donna. Okay. Is anyone having problems um, registering or connecting to Tracker? I mean, I know that we we chatted a little bit about verifying phone numbers, but does anyone like run into an issue where they're not able to be set up? Great. Okay, I think we hit all of the questions in the chat. So if anyone wanted to ask a question to any of us or Bart, go for it. Is there anywhere on the OVO's uh, software that shows you that where you are linked to your tracker? I couldn't find that. You link your tracker um, in one of two places. When you're I've already done the link, but I just want to verify that I can see that it is indeed linked. Uh -huh. Okay, if you've already done it, then you can always go to your profile. And in your profile, it will show you what trackers you're connected to, which ones you still could connect to. Um, it'll let you, you know, remove yourself from an event if you wanted to you could uh, validate your phone number profile so that's that's your one stop shop there great thank you yeah a couple of days ago i uploaded all of the trails and there were 111 and i think 30 and so now it's 106 and 29 so which trail did you delete uh rough hollow Thank you. Yeah, Rough Hollow got deleted today. We may be adding one more tomorrow, so keep your eye open for that. Thank you for that segue, Valerie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bart, do you want to maybe say anything else about that? I know that was on the bullet list. Well, I mean, about Rough Hollow specifically? And, or taking one off and adding another one, I guess. Well, look, we, at this point, you know, we can still kind of play around with a trail or two. Um, but we don't, you know, once we hit October 1st, we certainly won't. Uh, now, I will mention, uh, we do have the ability to pause the challenge or even um, make it so that if there's a trail that for whatever reason maybe is not safe to be out on that trail for a period of time. Last year, there was some flash flooding that was happening. So there were a few trails that we had to shut down for a temporary period of time. Um, so if we run into those types of things again this year, we'll certainly put it up on the discussion board. We'll put it into that Facebook group um, so that we're trying to create awareness that uh, you know this particular trail is off limits until we can you know get it live again. Um, we haven't ever had to shut down an entire Oboe's Trail experience yet, but, you know, if there were torrential rains for a period of time and we just felt like we needed to do that for a few days, um, you know, we would again notify everybody. Just so you know, if you try to go do a trail when it's closed, it's not going to count. So it's kind of pointless to even go out there and try it. Good to know. We have a question about the big overarching prizes at the end of the experience, not the promoted trails. I'll defer that one to Shannon. I don't know if I really understand. So it's the, 
um, sorry, we're talking about the prizes at the end of the experience, like mm -hmm. at the wrap party. For sure, there will be five pairs of Oboe's boots that are given away. Um, I guess the question, their qualifications. So uh, the more trails you hike, the more uh, the more chances you have of winning a pair of boots. There will be prizes in addition to the boots. We will have at least 30 pairs of darn tough socks for that event. We will also have, um, there's some other stuff in the hopper guys that we're working on and we have a little bit more time before that. So we definitely want to pad that event a little bit, but in terms of the boots themselves, the more you hike, the better odds you have of winning a pair of free boots. I will say that I was super disappointed because I finished all of the hikes last year and I did not win a pair of boots and people who barely hiked did. So that really sucked. And plus I was the first female. So that was really tough for me. It's certainly understood. Yeah. Oh, can she do something about that? <laughs> I, I will say, I, I think we wanted to keep an element of randomness to it. So it's kind of like a raffle, but you don't have to pay anything. You're not buying tickets. You're just hiking. and Your odds are better if you do more. But at the same time, if you only have the opportunity to do a little bit, you have at least a little bit of a chance, I think is the concept. But we're listening to you, Valerie. So that's uh, that's good input. Thank you. For Valerie, that. I um, also am trying to think back to last year, again, the inaugural year and how we formatted that. And I think as echoing Kevin here that it was if you completed any trails you got entered to win. So it was a lot more random. But this year it will for sure, for sure be, you know, the top. How it will, we'll look at completion rates um, before we do that drawing. Um, I appreciate that. It's still random, yeah, but but yeah, it's a little bit um, more of a competition that way for sure. I see a question um, in the chat about um, uploading a map to a tracker for sports tracker, um, and they aren't populating. Again, what I would recommend is jump over to the FAQs page, go down to sports tracker. Because a lot of times you would have to go to your sports tracker app and you have to like go to the library or, the, you know, all the different platforms have slightly different nuances of where you find that trail once they have sent it to you. Um, so it's there. You just kind of got to go through the steps to be able to pull it, you know, get to the right spot. I think on sports tracker, it's called a library if I'm, if I remember correct, but. Um, just check it out. You know, the other thing I would just, you know, call out with everybody uh, here is when you complete an activity, those activities are sent to us automatically. And we have what we call a trail validation tool. And it compares the route that you see on the Obos trail experience to your activity. And it, it will figure out, did you complete it properly or not? And so then it will either assign you credit or it, it won't. And um, so to help make sure that you do get credit, it's helpful to kind of pay attention to where's the start location, where's the end location, and what is that route in between? Um, again, if there's braided trails or there's intersections, you might get off course for a little while. And we allow for a little bit of deviation um, so that if you did get off course for a little bit, you're gonna be okay. But if you went way off course or you started recording your activity maybe at home, you ran two miles, you did a, a little one mile segment and then you ran two miles back home, it thinks that you went four miles off trail or off course. So, if you feel like you have completed a trail properly, but you didn't get credit for it, shoot me an email and, um, and I'll dive in and I'll look at your specific activity and, um, and you know, we'll go from there as to whether you did it right or not. And I'm very fair, I'm, I'm overly fair. 
um, you know, because I want everybody to have a great time. And, you know, this really is about getting out and exploring trails in your community that maybe you've never been on before. And um, so we want to make sure that it's a great experience. Ah, you found it. Great. <laughs> That's awesome. Fabulous. So there was one other thing I wanted to touch on too is the discussion board. Bart, you've mentioned it a couple of times, but I just want to reference that as a place and a source of information and conversation too. If you guys want to try to meet up with someone to go hike and they're part, you know, whatever, but uh, we we want to encourage that a little bit more. And wristbands, thank you, Heather. Oh, my uh, if you have not gotten one of these bad boys, uh at well the wrap party they are at the austin stores waiting for you so if you are registered go by and the stores have them there and we were hoping that folks would wear these out on the trail or on yourself in some way shape or form to identify yourself as part of the oboes trail experience and to meet your fellow hikers a lot of camaraderie as we go through the month you know yes. pretty fun do teams have their own discussion boards? They do. Yeah, I'm sorry I didn't call that out on the teams page, but yeah, the, it, they do have their own discussion board that is just amongst the team members. Um, so, you know, feel free to utilize that. Um, and then, of course, there's the main discussion board where you're chatting with everybody. Make sure you're on the right discussion board before you say something you don't want everyone to hear. Hey, folks. I wanted to circle back to um, trail times again, just to point out that several of our trails are City of Austin parks, and City of Austin parks generally have 5 a.m. to 10 p.m. Uh, restrict. You know, that's when they're open. Is 5 a.m. to 10 p.m. Others are managed by different organizations, like the Wilderness Basin is part of St. Edwards, and I believe their hours on their page are 7:30 a.m. to 7:30 p.m. for weekdays. And now I've lost the page, but it is, um, I believe, uh, Saturdays and Sundays, 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. So we'll we'll see if we have the opportunity to upload, to add any description to that. It's a little bit labor intensive to put that, that on the, the page, but it's a good idea. Um, it, you may just have to Google it. I find that Google's generally pretty accurate with that stuff. If you just type in the, you know, the name of the thing, because we've what we've tried to do is use very um official names so the name should be pretty much a placeholder for the the real information as you as you look for hours i'm just wondering if there's some way you can post the trails that did close last year due to the rain so that because i was hoping to tackle those first so that i don't get rained out it was the barton creek green belt the early sections, which is also known part of the Violet Crown Trail, but it was the from from Barton Springs, the first uh, four or six miles from Barton Springs. Uh, and if you remember, we had those torrential rains um, that closed that flooded the pool and stuff like that. You know, it was after it died down, we still had to leave it because there's so many tr uh, creek crossings there that even though you could probably ford it at, you know, two or three feet deep again, in terms of liability, we can't encourage you to ford a creek. Um, you know, if it was, if it's going to be more than sort of ankle deep, that was, that was the issue for that. That Dante's also did, Dante's also was, and then there was another one and I don't remember what the name of it was. And it was the one that has the, like, it's really used for biking. It's very narrow. Like, which one is that? Carolyn, maybe you can speak to that. I'm not sure. Uh, Lakeway is pretty heavy mountain bikes, but I don't believe that was on the list last year. I could be wrong. No, it was not. Yeah. It was a different one. I was thinking maybe Slaughter. Same. Was it Slaughter? I'm not sure. Slaughter is very sensitive to rain. They they will that that one. There's a Facebook page for the Slaughter Creek. Yeah, group. that must have been it. Yes, that was it. Yeah. Okay. They will keep that thing closed for a week if it sprinkles. I mean, they're very, very sensitive. Uh, we Last year, we had a problem with the Shoal Creek Trail through downtown. There was some issues where there were some encampments under some of the bridges. We just took that trail off for that reason this year. We shortened it last year, but, um, you know, 
please understand we're doing our best, but this is also a learning experience for us. So we do, we welcome your feedback. It's actually super helpful and better than anything for us to keep up because we certainly don't have the opportunity to monitor all the trails all the time. But um, we, we appreciate y'all letting us know when there's a good thing or a bad thing. Yeah, uh, you know, Kevin, good point. I mean, that's really, again, where the discussion board or the Facebook group comes in. I mean, if, if you see something, you have something you feel like you need to report, uh, questions, please, you know, get them out there to us because um, there with, you know, 400 of you um, out on the trails, there's a lot of opportunity to provide us with feedback and we sure appreciate it. Thanks, Katie. Thanks, Valerie. Yeah, thanks for all the love in the chat, everybody. Yeah. Thanks to Inez. Yes, been awesome. Thank you. Paul, I have a question for you. Please. Um, what is your favorite oboe shoes right now? Um, I was able to work in shoes today for the first time in a long time. And I sold a pair of oboes to a sweet little teenager who's going on a hike. And I told her all about how you guys plant trees for every pair. And last I checked, it was like 2 million, but now you're at 4 million trees planted. I, I believe that eight. that is accurate. Yeah, we're selling shoes out here. That's that's it, incredible. It yeah. Can you talk about the planting a tree and also what's your favorite oboe shoe right now? Yeah. So on the favorite oboe shoe, I'm spoiled. You know, I have access to a lot of oboe shoes. Uh, I would say right now the Bozeman is definitely my favorite I, just because that's a casual and you can wear it every single day. Uh, as far as hiking goes, the Aret is probably my current favorite. Um, and then, you know, we always have some new stuff coming down the pipe that uh, is super exciting. So there's there's some that I'm super pumped about that are, are not here yet. Um, yeah, Bozeman, though, Bozeman Low Leather, I have like three or four different colors. It's my my favorite right now, for sure. Great question, Heather. Thank you for asking. Um, you know, one of the unique things about oboes that's so cool is we make shoes for everybody. You know, we're, we try to be super inclusive on who we're serving out there. So, you know, we have a bunch of different lasts, a bunch of different fits. So, you know, I'm a, I'm a big man. If you're of a different size or shape, there's something out there for you, for sure. Um, the plant every tree for plant up tree for every pair sold uh, is done through a third party organization. Ooh, actually, blank on the name of the organization. All of this information would be available on oboesfootwear.com if you wanted to check it out. Um, but it's really cool. They do it in a way that um, you know promotes agriculture for a smaller community. I think it's done typically in Africa. You know, it's kind of a, a holistic thing. It's not just a, it's not just to check the box of planting a tree. They really try to make it a, a long term sustainable improvement for uh, for a particular community. It's a cool project. Great questions. Hey, I'll uh, put just, this in. Sorry, Paul. I thought you were finished. I'll just put in a second hand plug because my my daughter, uh, I'm, uh, I may be biased as a shoe buyer, but my daughter is not. In fact, if you ever if you know any 14 year old girls, you can't tell them anything. But she uh, we we got a chance to go to the Italian Dolomites uh, this summer and she was shopping for for boots without my telling her what she should get. And she found the new the brand new renovated um, uh, uh, Oboe's uh, Sawtooth. They call it the Sawtooth X. And that worked out really well for her. And I highly recommend the Dolomites if you ever want to go hiking. It's uh, a, a target rich environment, as they say. Sawtooth X, great style. They make men's, women's, waterproof, not waterproof, lows and mids, something for everybody on that one. Great call out, Kevin. A little bit random here, but I also wanted to plug the trail experience because Obos is doing this in some places across the country. We mentioned Burlington. Uh, there's Charlottesville, Bozeman itself, uh, Bozeman, Montana, Pittsburgh, Fort Collins, Colorado. If you know people in any of those places, encourage them to do this because it's a really cool thing, and we want to um, we want to reward oboes for uh, being being crazy enough to do this in different places. Such a cool project. It is. We're really glad to be part of it. I'm over here now, guys, and I think we need to wrap it up because we're at over an hour. Um, 
did anyone have a, I know people are, are um, popping off, but do we have, I think that's it. I think we had all the questions in the chat. We're excited too. Awesome. Well, thank you all so much for this time. I mean, it's, it's good to see everybody's faces again. It's good to see the enthusiasm for the Oboe's Trail experience and being able to get out in the month of October and have a great excuse to spend more time on the trails. Um, if anyone needs anything after this, feel free to shoot an email over to info at terrainscouts.com or jump into, jump into Whole Earth and say hi to the guys. And i um, happy to answer whatever questions we can. Definitely that and the discussion boards and the prizes are locked and loaded at the stores. So they're ready for you guys. They're there. So we'll see you guys yeah. out on the trail. Thank you so much, Bart, for walking through everything. And Paul, thank you for that. And Kevin, it's wonderful seeing you. And Carolyn, Carolyn too. Where are, yeah, thank you so much. I know you're having technical issues. You did great. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. Thanks. All good. Okay. We're, we're super thankful for all of you guys. This is going to be fun. Yes. Happy hiking. Yay. Thank you. Happy hiking. Bye, guys. Bye. Awesome. Later. Thanks, everybody.